So this is gonna be a different video from what we normally do on sleep audiobooks, but I thought it would be very appropriate. We were contacted by the technology company, BenQ, and they reached out to us because they thought that this speaker that they recently released would be of particular interest to people in our community, and I agreed. Um, they were discussing how there's different modes for this speaker, and uh, there's a sound mode which is specifically for uh, voice and it makes voice more clear and more audible. And I thought that that made a lot of sense for those who like to listen to aud audiobooks or podcasts to fall asleep. So I agreed to receive one of these and I will be uh, reviewing it for, for the channel. Okay, so let's take a look at the box first. We have the front. It discusses the safe volume setting and the sound mode. This is designed for uh, online learning, Zoom calls, but also regular music and listening to voice focused content such as YouTube videos, um, podcasts, and audiobooks. So here we can see uh, it connects through Bluetooth or a 3.5 millimeter phone jack. It has a distance sensor and a microphone for Zoom calls or, you know, video calls. Uh, it has a voice command and it has speakers that have bass, but also a specialized speaker for treble, which allows it to uh, have a more clear and focused uh, audio. Uh, we will see how that goes. It has a 12 hour battery playtime. Um, and uh, let's open it up and see what we got. Okay. So opening up, it has the, what appears to be the quick guide here. I believe this is the quick guide in Chinese. Okay. Looks like just a uh, uh, regulatory statements. Okay. Quality assurance, I'm guessing. And okay, so it comes with a USB to USB-C cable. This is for charging and updates to software. This does not transfer any audio. We have a 3.5 millimeter jack. The charging block. So you get the block with the charging cable. Let me take this out. Okay, and here's the speaker. So initial impression, it's a nice size. It's small, it can go on your desk. Okay. Let's just open this up. It's got a little bit of heft to it, a little bit of weight. All right. So we have the blue front speaker. This is a distance sensor. This is the microphone. So the distance sensor, uh, I believe helps, um, when you're in a, like a video call, it will adjust the microphone sensitivity. Then we have, uh, the bottom, which is like a rubber grip. So it doesn't slide and the back speakers. So you get the base and the charging port and a, the 3.5 millimeter jack connects in the back here. That's the USB-C charging port. You can see it's got the charging logo. It's not for music, but the 3.5 is, or audio. And then we have the controls on the top. Uh, I believe this button goes through the different audio settings. This is the loudness sensitivity setting. We have audio volume controls here as well as it appears to be muting with the Bluetooth indication and the power button. Great. So I will be taking a look at this and trying it out. And I believe, you know, this might be a slightly different review compared to a lot of the reviews that you might see on YouTube for this product. A lot of those reviews are tech reviews. This is going to be more focused on, uh, is this a good product for someone looking to you know, fall asleep to a podcast or an audiobook, And I will be doing some tests on that, but I'll try out like different functionality for this speaker and, 
and we'll take a look and see how it goes. Okay. So I tested out the audio in two different environments that I would use the speakers regularly. The first one was the desktop where I connected it to my PC and I listened to both audiobooks from Sleep Audiobooks and I listened to some music on YouTube. I adjusted the settings and the volumes a little bit and I gave it a listen. I then moved on to where I would sleep sometimes, uh, where I'd read books and fall asleep here I played sleep audiobooks and adjusted the settings to try each sound setting. I also created a personalized sound profile through the Trivolo app. This was a setting where the speakers would emit certain frequencies of sounds at different volumes. Then through the app, I would tell it whether or not I could hear those sounds. Afterwards, it created a customized sound profile that was catered specifically to my ability to hear, my, my individual sensitivity. So now we're going to show a quick recording of the different audio settings so you can compare them. Grimm's Fairy Tales by Jacob Grimm and Wilhelm Grimm Read by E. Campbell For the Sleep Audiobooks YouTube channel and sleepaudiobooks.com The Golden Bird a certain king had a beautiful garden, and in the garden stood a tree which bore golden and ordered the gardener to keep watch all night under the tree. The gardener set his eldest son to watch, but about twelve o'clock he fell asleep, and in the morning another of the apples was missing. Then the third son offered to keep watch, but the gardener at first would not let him, for fear some harm should come to him. However, he at last consented. Okay, so what is my impression of the Travola U speakers? Uh, I have to say, after trying out uh, different settings, different volumes, different media types, and putting it in a few different environments, this is an overall great speaker. Uh, it definitely is designed for a specific use case. So this is really focused on vocal clarity. If you have online learning courses, or you work remotely, this would be a very good speaker to have as your desktop speaker because it has a microphone built in for good vocal clarity on your end if you're doing an, any video chat or video calls. And it also has settings specifically designed for improving the clarity of vocals from someone else in case they're in, in, an, in an environment that is very noisy. Where this speaker would work for someone who watches sleep audiobooks uh, would be the video learning setting because that does create nice vocal clarity. That would be a good setting for sleep audiobooks. It also has a music setting, which I think was very good. Uh, the bass and the clarity of the music is really high quality. It does not get up to a high volume that someone might want with speakers that are geared specifically for music. So if you want to take this out to a picnic or the beach, it might be okay for music, but this is primarily a desktop speaker. Um, I would say this is also could be good if you want to bring it around the house. Like let's say you're washing dishes in the kitchen. You can bring this down from your desk and you can put on music and it would be at a good volume. Uh, this is, yeah, so while this can be taken outside and it feels durable enough that it could it could be a portable speaker, I think this is primarily an indoor uh, speaker setup and focused more so on desktop online learning. Um, overall though, it's it's a great design. It, the sound is excellent. And especially when you're going through the video learning mode, uh, just listening to podcasts in that setting sounds really good. Uh, even in music mode, it can sound pretty good. I think depending on someone's voice, you might want one or the other. The live learning mode, I would say, really is a, a very specialized setting for video calls. I think as a video for video calls, it would be very good or like an online class where there's a lot of participants. Besides that, the Bluetooth is good. It, the long battery life gives it some portability. I think this is a great speaker. And yeah, if, if you think this is something that would work for you in your setup uh, i'll have a link below in the description where you can purchase it i hope you enjoyed this review 
If you like this kind of content, please let us know in the comments so we'll be able to do some more of these if you'd like. And otherwise, look forward to seeing you soon uh, during our next sleep audiobook video. Take care. This is Sleep Audiobooks.